Hey, what's going on guys? We've got another 30 minutes mission skit to take a look at here for today's video. This one is a big boy. It's the Providel. It's the Providel Type Rex 01. So this kit is available in a couple of different colors now. This is the blue colored one here. It's a big massive kit, basically meant to be like a sort of exosuit that the regular 30 minutes mission suits uh, can operate and ride on, or this can just be op operating on its own. There's a bunch of cool stuff that you can do with this set. And so not only are we gonna be taking a look at this big boy, but we'll also look at the option set, which is officially, unofficially for this, which is actually the customized weapons, heavy weapons. One, you can see the Providel pictured prominently right there on the front. So this is some heavy weapons that, which can of course be used with this or any of your other 30 minutes mission sets or 30 minute sisters or whatever else. Uh, but we'll take a look at this option set in today's video as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so for our box art here, you can see the main unit as usual with a 30 minutes missions box. We have a cool render of the main unit and then in the background, a seizure render there of the unit in action there you can actually see a couple of them with an alto riding inside there like i said you can have a regular 30 minutes missions kit actually piloting it by sitting in and on the cockpit right there interestingly enough so okay here on the side this is number 52 in the 30 minutes missions lineup and then down here on the bottom of the box we can see some of the features so for the normal mode there you can see how like the torso can get larger or smaller, kind of open up for if uh, there's gonna be a different suit riding on it or not. And then a little bit about the tail there as well, which I can't say that I'm super into the tail that it has, but okay, it's got that. And then it has the Examax riding mode. So like I said, you can have different suits riding on that. And interestingly enough, I did not realize this was gonna be the case, but it looks like we have some wires included. That would actually be from, there's a different 30 minutes mission set that includes some of these uh, wires and tubes that you can get. So that's kind of cool that we have some included here with this set. And then we have also the Rex mode. So we'll take a look at all the different modes, of course, in the review portion of the video. Once we get to that, there's the front and rear view of the main kit. And then over here, looks like we are also gonna have some marking stickers included, which I think is also a first for a 30 minutes missions kit, I believe in there as well. So that's interesting. And then here's a size comparison just showing how much larger this is than your standard uh, Alto there for an example. All right, interesting stuff indeed. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see if there's any other surprises, uh, things that maybe I was not aware of that we should have expected here inside the kit. But starting off with the instruction manual here, it's definitely a much more substantial instruction manual than we typically have for a 30 minutes missions. But over here, we've got some information on the Providel that's there in Japanese and in English. You can feel free to pause the video if you want to check up about that and also about the story. There's some information here about the background story as well. And then right here, a customized option of this mixing this kit as well as the Alto flight type and the weapons parts set, which we're gonna be taking a look at in today's video as well. And I actually do have an Alto flight type, not the Navy version, but could make that for you guys for today's video, but we won't focus on that. Here's a little bit about the marking stickers and where those are gonna be placed around. And you can see we have a couple different options, whether you want to have this as the test unit or the advanced assault team unit there. So that's kind of cool that you have some options there with that. It shows you where the stickers are going to go. This is our marking sticker guide right here. Opening it up to the front inside page is going to be our parts list. Everything else on the inside is going to be the construction of the kit. I think all the way through the last page was just talking about the transformation into the Rex mode, but on the center fold out pages here, there's a bunch more stuff. Basically a catalog of different kits that are available in the line. Some of the Earth Alliance forces, uh, the Bylon forces, and also the Maxion forces there as well. So it just kind of shows you all of their kits that are available, or at least the ones that were available at the time. There's more available now, but here we have some more of the different vehicle units which are also available there. And then also premium Bandai units there. It looks like another Eximax plan. So interesting stuff. Some QR codes down here for 30 minutes missions and then 30 minutes channel there, the YouTube channel, the website. So you can check those out if you guys are interested, but okay. So in here, we've also got our two red wires. So these are gonna be just flexible wires that are about 15 centimeters in length. And then we do also have these cloth mesh tubes, which you can fit over the wires if you want. You can use just the wires by themselves, or yeah, you can thread the tube over the wire, and then you have this nice uh, flexible looking tube there, which is gonna look really cool. It's just like a nylon cord anyway. So that's really cool to have those included. And then our sticker sheet here as well. Most everything's in white or yellow there for our different markings. And then these other different uh, color bits that you can see on there. So of course, would prefer water slide decals. And I don't believe, although there is some different water slide decal sets for the 30 minutes missions kits, I don't believe there's a water slide decal set for this particular set 
Not that I'm aware of at the moment, I'll have to check though. But it's just cool that we have some marking stickers included for if you want to use those. But getting into the runners then, we do have some polycaps here, PC7 for some polycap ball joints in gray. Runners A1, 2, 4, and 6 it looks like are going to be here in our main blue color there. You can see one big part kind of fell off the runner here. So just make sure to be careful not to throw any parts away in the bag. This would obviously be one that would be pretty hard to miss. But still, you always want to be careful. Here is the B runner. It looks like B3 and B4 five and six. Anyway, we've got two of this runner for some more parts here in blue on the B runner. Next few runners are going to all be in gray. Here's runners uh, C5, 6, C3, and C1. It looks like they're all just kind of a combination. Some of these parts being doubled, some of the mechanical gray parts, followed by runner D here as well. D5, 4, uh, D2, D3. So again, just a combination of a bunch of different stuff. It looks like mostly joint parts here. Runner E1 or 7, I'm not exactly sure, but this looks like it's some more uh, weapons parts here mostly. It looks like I think this is actually probably parts for the hip section, but anyway, runner E2 is going to be our parts here in clear green, and it's a very bright uh, fluorescent clear green, which looks pretty cool. And lastly, runner JA2 is going to be some different uh, joint connection pieces. So there's like some uh, cap parts here. You can see you can use those to plug some of your uh, hard points if you don't want to have those visible and some other different just kind of connection pieces that you can use as you need. So that's everything for the big guy. Let's go ahead and check out the customized options set. Heavy weapons one set here as well. So in typical weapon set fashion, this is number 25 in the line. By the way, we have this smaller box. But there you can see the Providel featured right there as well as the Forestieri there as well, which is definitely one of the smaller ones. So it's kind of interesting how they have one of the biggest and then one of the smallest units here on the front to show off these weapons as being the heavy weapons but it looks like we have like some cannons a big giant shield this kind of uh, backpack sort of part I think it is these are actually missile pods it's kind of hard to tell from the side photos but those are right there you can see those are actually missile pods and then this kind of uh, axe and big sword weapon there so see that again here on the side of the box and again uh, showing those weapons how those can be combined into a bigger sword which is pretty cool there and then a few other different options how these can be used on a few other different kits. Yeah, on Alto, those weapons definitely looking very large. They don't quite look quite as big on the Providel, but once you see them on Alto, they're definitely going to be pretty sizable. Here on the other side, there's a, again a look at how you can combine some of these and use them with some of the different sets that shield very large there on the Spinatio. But let's go ahead and crack open this box and take a look at e these parts, which are going to be all in gray as you might expect. But anyway, here we have the construction. Should also have somewhere in here, there we go, our parts list. And the instruction manual here are gonna be pretty straightforward. There is some parts in color, although there's not gonna be anything too colorful with everything being gray. So it's just kind of general construction of those sections. Pretty straightforward. The runners are gonna be as follows. OPWK1, or just runner K1 here, is gonna be parts for the shield and then some of the weapons parts there. As I said, everything's in gray. Runner K2 here has some of our blade weapons and a few other bits on there. Runner K3 is actually just a copy of the lower portion of runner K1. And similarly, runner K4 is just a copy of this top section of runner K2 there. So basically two runners, and then you have a couple of copies of a couple of sections of those. So, all right, that's it. Let's go ahead and check out this stuff all put together. All right, guys, and here is the Providel all built up. As you can see, quite the large fellow, and I think it's gonna be a very cool kit with the different things that you can do with this. We'll take a look at all that here after we go through some of the accessories that we have included with this. Some of them are just gonna be like option parts for the transformation and all that, uh, but a very cool kit here indeed. And yeah, definitely large, but pretty simple and straightforward construction. Even though it's much larger, the construction is very similar to that of just your standard 30 minutes missions kit. It's just bigger, and there are, of course, more parts, but it's a lot of just big parts, so it's not a very complex complex construction, but we do have a lot of really nice details and everything on there. So let's go ahead and get into it here, starting off with the accessories. All right, so first off, we do have some hand options here. We've got these open hands, which do have a little bit of movement in them. The kind of uh, thumb part or middle inside finger is attached via a small little ball joint, so you can kind of move that around a little bit. As you can see on the inside of the fingers, we just got some hollow gaps there, which is unfortunate, but like I said, it's pretty simple construction here. But then we do also have these closed fists or weapon holding hands. As you can see, there's a small little hole in there, which looks small compared to the hands, but that's your standard three millimeter size 
a peg hole in there for hanging on to any weapons. It is also sort of a somewhat rectangular hole there. So any other like handheld weapons you should be able to use with these hands. And of course we have two of these for the left and the right side. So those look nice. And then we've got its main weapon, which is gonna be mounted onto the side of the arm, thanks to this little connection piece right there, which could be on this side or that side or here or there or anywhere. You want to connect that. And this, this has a standard rectangular connection piece there for the barrel. So there's a lot of different 30 minutes missions, uh, weapon option parts that use that same connection piece for like the gun barrels of different parts. So you could definitely customize that by using a different gun barrel piece, but this is just meant to plug right here onto this side of the arm like so and that looks pretty cool the rest of our option pieces are basically going to be for the transformation we've got this piece right here which is actually going to go like that if i can get this figured out so right here this crotch section will come off and the handles are going to fold out this part is going to connect then in between and that's where the feet are going to go of your 30 minutes missions kit the operator kit or whatever you have piloting this uh, mecha mobile armor and that's going to go in there like so and and similarly for the transformation into the Rex mode, we're actually gonna use this additional piece here to kind of cover up this part at the top. And it's just gonna cover that like that basically and just kind of makes it so that this whole part sort of looks like the head instead of it having a separate actual head part right there. Uh, last couple things, we have an extra piece for the tail. So the tail is made up of one, two, three, four, five of these sections. And we do have a sixth section, but we don't have an additional poly cap that you need for that. But you just need your standard, just like a poly cap ball joint here like that. Now, just because of the number of those that come on the standard runner, they didn't have enough to make another one of those to put on there. But if you have one and there's a high likelihood that you do probably have a leftover one of these somewhere laying around, you can actually extend the tail to be one segment longer. And then of course we've got our wire segment right here. Now this gray part is gonna plug into the back of your like pilot operator kit. And then these uh, hose or cable bits are going to wrap around under the body and then plug up into the backpack. But again, you could have those plugged into here. Or you could have them plugged into here or here or anywhere where there's a hard point you could plug those into. So really it's kind of up to you. And then on that note of customization, the last thing I'll just point out to you guys is a reminder that you do have some of these leftover bits, some of these connection pieces, but then some parts like this, which would just make some nice little detail parts to fill in some of the hard points that you have around on the, on the kit. If you didn't want to have just a bunch of exposed hard points, you can plug in some of these like little plug pieces there just to turn those into just a regular detail part. So just to talk a little bit about the articulation and the construction of the kit itself. The articulation is probably just about what you would expect. Overall, you got like double joints here in the arms. The knees are kind of inverted knees, but you do have a double joint there. So you could make those like kind of a bit more straight. They are sort of meant to be like that, sort of like a backwards knee joint though. And then down here at the feet, just like with the hands, you unfortunately have some hollow gaps underneath the toes there. And I do kind of wish that we had another option part there for the feet, which would allow you to have these kind of more flat, but it is meant to just kind of be claw looking like that. But these parts will rotate like so. The whole ankle joint itself will also move forward and back. And then the toes will actually move side to side, the front toes I should say, can move side to side as well. The back toe is just kind of fixed there. And similar to the toes, the claw here at the back of the tail, each one of these four bits can be independently moved here like so for this claw to tail, which is certainly interesting. Around here on the back, this little panel does fold down and that's actually for the transformation into Rex mode. I was saying before that this is like the front. Actually, this part becomes the back and this part becomes the head because this part actually has this opening mouth that's gonna look like the the kind of T-Rex's mouth there for the Rex head. So this part you're gonna take off and then attach onto the back of the body right around here, but otherwise you're just gonna keep that panel closed. Really cool note here about the head. The head articulation is pretty nice considering that it's just kind of crammed into this little space there. And the clear green parts look really cool, except for the one in the head. You kind of don't really get the same sense of how like neon and bright these ones are looking on the front of the body. And then the one inside the head, just because it's recessed in there, um, you don't really get the same kind of look out of that, but the clear parts do look pretty nice overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few poses here with this, with just the main kit on its own. I do want to also take a look at how this is going to look with an actual like regular 30 minutes missions kit uh, riding inside of there. We'll take a look at a couple of different examples. It's meant to be operated by an Alto, I guess is kind of what we see on the box art anyway. I don't have one of those right around here off hand, so I'm just gonna use a couple of other different kits that I've recently reviewed. 
and you guys can see, you can get an idea of how those are gonna look here on this particular kit. And we'll also take a look at the Rex mode here as well. Some really cool options. Honestly, I just kind of like it just on its own, but it is certainly interesting to be able to combine this with different kits and have it basically like a regular uh, 30 minutes missions kit to be operating this as a larger mecha sort of exosuit anyway. It's interesting, certainly, and very unique. I didn't put any of the marking stickers on there, but just as a reminder, of course, you do have those marking stickers included if you wanted to add some more detail onto it because it is just gonna be kind of a wash of this dark gray and dark blue, and it doesn't have a lot of like uh, highlighted details on there, or accents on there, aside from the clear green parts. So adding those stickers on there uh, could add a little bit of accent to it if you wanted to use those. But unfortunately, they're just kind of regular stickers, not gonna look as nice as if they were proper water slide decals. But, but all right, so as for the heavy weapon set, we basically have three main parts. The first part, it will start with the most simple one here is just the large shield, which is just made up of a couple pieces. We have our connection piece right here, but as you can see, there's a number of hard points around on both the front and the back, wherever you might want to attach this. It is gonna be pretty large here if you compare this with the size of this Spinatio Knight here, for example, as you can see, it would be like, it's not oversized. I mean, it is oversized, but what I mean is that I don't think that it looks like too big to be able to be used by just a standard uh, 30 minutes missions kit. It's not like this is something that's made specifically only to be able to be used with the Providel. This is definitely something that you can use with any of your kits. It is gonna be large though. And the same thing goes for our large sword too. Now, as we know, this can also be separated into two separate weapons, this smaller kind of ax style weapon and this larger sword, but I do like the combination of the two here like that. Now it's not gonna be very sharp, what I would recommend, and there's actually a seam line down the edge of that as well. I would recommend if you wanted to make that a little bit sharper, you can uh, file this down a little bit and that's one way to do it. But is one as well, just to compare this in height to the standard uh, Spinatio Knight type here. As you can see, it's coming up right about to the same height as that kit, so it is gonna be large. And then we've got the backpack. This is kind of like the main attraction, so you don't necessarily have to use this as a backpack. This is just how it's built according to the manual. So you have these cannons up here on the top, which will move up and down. You can also rotate those side to side and then attached onto the side here, these missile pods, which open up there like that. But we do have a couple of interesting attachment pieces that we can use here to basically swap this out. So if you wanted to have the missile pods on the top and the cannons on the side, you can do that. Basically, we're gonna swap this, swap this here. And after some simple mixing and matching, you can see how you can make it like this instead. Now you could also, of course, have the missile pods attached onto like this lower part of the backpack, don't have to be on the top part. You could invert the backpack entirely and have those on the side and have these missile pods. They're not, there's no attachment point here on like what is essentially the bottom of the backpack. If you wanted to uh, invert it, if you wanted to make this the top of the backpack, you'd have to attach something onto the side, but there's obviously plenty of options here available to you. Now we don't have a ton of connection parts included with this set, a few, enough to give you a few different options but there's a bunch of different other 30 minutes missions option part sets that give you a lot more different uh, style connection parts we do have a couple of these connection parts here and that's for if you wanted to attach the missile pods together you can basically plug these parts into the side of here like that and then take a second your second missile pod and then connect them together like so and then those can open up like that for a double missile pod which does look pretty cool, I have to say, and this is obviously one of those sets that if you get more than one, you're gonna have a lot more fun, I think. And you can use uh, one of your attachment pieces like here, for example, and plug that up onto the top of the backpack there like that. It's gonna be a lot, but it definitely is going to look pretty cool, I think. So let's go ahead and try a few different combinations with this set. And I did, in fact, get multiples of this set. So I will show you some combinations that are going to include two of the option sets. So just keep that in mind. What I showed you guys just now is everything that you get in one set. If you're seeing like some of these sets where I'm using more than one of the shield or you know four of the missile pods, something like that, for example, just keep in mind that I'm using multiples of this set. But it's a great way to illustrate to you guys how uh, it's something that I've said in a lot of these reviews of these 30 minutes missions option sets that there's a lot of them that I would definitely recommend getting multiples of just because one set's great and you get a lot of option parts and a lot of different uh, variety of the ways that you can use the parts in one set. But getting multiples of the set uh, just gives you even so many more options so there's a lot of these weapons and these weapons part sets that are not necessarily like made to be doubled, but they're ones that definitely 
can very easily and very effectively be doubled and they look really cool. So they're definitely made with that in mind. So depending on if you wanted a lighter or a heavier loadout, but considering this is the heavy weapon set, it does kind of make sense to probably get multiples of this set and go really heavy with the weapon sets. And I think you get some really cool results. So that's going to do it for this review. A really nice set. The Providel Rex, a really awesome, very interesting kit. If you're a fan of the 30 Minutes Missions line, it's definitely one that is quite interesting. Or even if you're not that into 30 Minutes Missions, in general it's just something very different to build and you don't necessarily have to combine it with any other like 30 minutes missions kit to be like operating it or piloting it piloting it or whatever just on its own it makes for a pretty interesting kit that uh, should be pretty fun to customize later on it's definitely something that i've been wanting to do working more on like some 30 minutes missions custom work so it's something that i'll keep in mind and i'll be working on later on in the future but for now guys let me know your thoughts on the providel rex and this heavy weapon set in the comments down below what do you think are you fans and and let me know if you do happen to have any other further questions as well. I'll be happy to answer those for you guys. But if you want to check out some of these kits and sets for yourself, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. Of course, we've got all sorts of 30 Minutes Missions, 30 Minutes Sisters, etc. there on the website. So definitely check that out. And as always, guys, thanks so much for all of your support, leaving a like, making sure that you're subscribed. It helps out a great deal. And I really appreciate it, guys. So till next time, hope you all have a great day. See you guys later. Bye bye.